हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वट आर कॉशी रिमन इक्वेशन इन पोलार फॉर्म लेट एस फर्स्ट रिकॉल कॉशी रिमन इक्वेशन इन कार्टेशियन फॉर्म इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन द कॉशी रिमन इक्वेशन आर द नेसेसरी कंडीशन फॉर अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस आई वी टू बी एनालिटिक इन द रीजन आर फॉलोइंग आर दो सी आर इक्वेशंस डबा यू बाय डबा एक्स इज इक्वल टू डबा वी बाय डबा वाई दैट इज पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई और यू एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी वाई एंड डबा यू बाय डबा वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ डबा वी बाय डबा एक्स और सिंपली यू वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी एक्स वेर यू इज रियल पार्ट ऑफ द एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ एंड वी इज इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ द एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ नोट दैट दिस इज द कार्टिशियन फॉर्म ऑफ द कॉशीरिमन इक्वेशन नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड पोलर फॉर्म ऑफ द कॉशीरिमन इक्वेशन अज्यूम एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस आई वी इज द एनालिटिक फंक्शन सिंस जेड इज एक्स प्लस आई वाई देन इट्स एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म कैन बी रिटर्न एज आर ई रेस टू आई थीटा सो यू प्लस आई वी कैन बी रिटर्न एज एफ ऑफ आर ई रेस टू आई थीटा दिस यू प्लस आई वी कैन बी रिटर्न एज एफ ऑफ आर ई रेस टू आई थीटा Now we differentiate this equation partially with respect to r. So left hand side becomes dba u by dba r plus i into dba v by dba r, like this. Whereas right hand side becomes derivative of f, that is f dash of r e raised to i theta into derivative of r e raised to i theta with respect to r. derivative of r e raised to i theta with respect to r is only e raised to i theta we label it as equation number 1 now we differentiate this equation with respect to theta partially keeping r term constants so in the left hand side we will have dba u by dba theta plus i into dba v by dba theta like this is equal to on the other side we will have f dash of r e raised to i theta into derivative of r e raised to i theta with respect to theta keeping r constant its derivative will be r into e raised to i theta into i we label this as equation number 2 note that if we take this r into i on the other side on right hand side we will be left with f dash of r e raised to i theta into e raised to i theta which is same as right hand side of the equation number 1 since both the right hand sides are same we can say that their left hand sides has to be same so by comparing equation 1 and 2 we will get 1 by r i into dba u by dba theta plus i into dba v by dba theta is equal to dba u by dba r Plus i into dba v by dba r. Now we take this r i on the other side. So we have on the left hand side dba u by dba theta plus i dba v by dba theta is equal to r i into this bracket. Now we multiply r i inside the bracket to get r i dba u by dba r plus r i square, which is minus one. so it is only minus r into dba v by dba r now we compare both sides of this equation for their real and imaginary parts so after comparing the real parts we will get dba u by dba theta here it has it is a real part is equal to minus r dba v by dba r and when we compare for imaginary parts we will get dba v by dba theta is equal to r dba u by dba r that is u theta is equal to minus r v r and u r is equal to 1 by r v theta these equations are called as cauchy riemann equations in polar form 
Now we see an example on this. Here the question is to find the unknown variable p if the function of complex variable f is given by r square cos 2 theta plus i r square sin p theta it is analytic. So we begin with this function f of z. When we compare it with u plus i v, we will get u is equal to r square cos 2 theta and v is equal to r square sin p theta. Now we differentiate u and v partially with respect to r and theta. Partial derivative of u with respect to r will be given by 2r into cos 2 theta and partial derivative of u with respect to theta will be given by r square into minus sin 2 theta into 2. Similarly, partial derivative of v with respect to r will be given by 2r sin p theta and v theta will be given by r square into cos p theta into p. Now we apply Cauchy Riemann equations in polar form as this f of z is given an analytic function. So we have daba u by daba r is equal to 1 by r daba v by daba theta. Substituting values of u r and v theta over here we get 2 r cos 2 theta is equal to this 1 by r as it is v theta is p r square cos p theta. Let us simplify this. This r r gets cancelled r and square. So on the left hand side we will have 2 r cos 2 theta and on the other side we will have p r cos p theta. So by comparing both the sides we will get p is equal to 2. Look at the next equation. Daba v by daba r is equal to minus 1 by r daba u by daba theta. Let us substitute for these derivatives. Vr's, Vr's value is 2r sin p theta and u theta value is minus 2r square sin 2 theta. This minus minus becomes plus. r and square will get, get cancelled. So on the other side we have 2r sin p theta and on right hand side we have 2r sin 2 theta. So when we compare both the sides once again we will get p is equal to 2. Therefore we say that here the unknown variable that is occurring in the definition of analytic function f of z p is given by p is equal to 2. I hope you understood what is polar form of the Cauchy Riemann equations and how it can be used. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.